My research is uh, what I call laboratory astrophysics. So I'm interested in identifying problems that are informed by observations around the sun or in space or in astrophysical contexts. So the solar wind is a high velocity stream of ionized gas called plasma that is emanated in all directions from the sun. The main process I'm interested in the solar wind is turbulence. Turbulence is a chaotic motion in a fluid, fluctuations of velocity, magnetic field, density, and temperature. As the solar wind evolves, magnetic fields are embedded in the plasma, and those magnetic fields get tangled and twisted and invoke a process called magnetic reconnection. Magnetic reconnection is the breaking and reestablishing of magnetic field lines, and it's the process by which energy stored in magnetic fields gets transferred to the particles of the plasma, the protons and electrons. Not very many experiments have been performed in a laboratory that connect to those observations. The SSX facility stands for Swarthmore Spheromac Experiment. We've configured the SSX device as the world's first plasma wind tunnel. A conventional wind tunnel at an automobile factory would blow room temperature air across a model, perhaps 100 meters per second. The SSX wind tunnel blows plasma that's 1 million degrees at 100 kilometers per second, but with the added complication of embedded magnetic fields. To make a million degree plasma, we borrow techniques from fusion energy, and we store electricity in capacitors. These capacitor banks are hooked up to plasma guns, and the plasma guns drive current through the plasma, and the plasma breaks off of the gun and roars down the tube to become part of the wind tunnel. I would say our main impact is basic scientific understanding of this turbulent plasma. We've been able to measure these magnetic and uh, velocity field fluctuations in our turbulent plasma, and they have many of the same statistical characteristics as is found in the solar wind. Solar wind dynamics are important for understanding impact with satellites and with the space environment near the Earth. If there's a particularly large disturbance or fluctuation in the solar wind, that can damage satellites, and it would be useful to have some predictive capability to see if uh, one of these events is on its way towards the Earth.